All right, so the next topic of conversation is uh, multipliers or additional multiplication. Um, these are uh, different examples of, you know, we call them multipliers, and really what they're intended to do is to multiply your base pulley system. So if you were to add these to a, a five to one or a six to one, you'd actually multiply, multiply it by three times that. So a five to one would actually turn into a 15 to one theoretically. So we have a couple of different examples here. Um, here's one with a swivel pulley near Prusik. This works really well. Um, it's cheap, it's effective. Um, it sometimes can be a little difficult to release, but you know, it, it still works. Um, here we have a, a tip lock with a swivel pulley here, and we actually have the, uh, an aluminum carabiner here, which is actually the only acceptable spot to use aluminum carabiners within your slackline rig. Um, these are really lightweight, very effective, and, and can come in handy. The one thing you'd want to look out for with the tip lock is to make sure that you're properly installing the carabiners and that you don't over torque because these have a tendency to tear sheaths off of ropes if they're being um, uh, too high of a load is applied. And then the last one here is our big boy. This is one we would typically use for a long line setup um, when you're really trying to bear down on it. Um, the cool thing about these is you can actually, if you're setting up your pulley system up high, you can actually add a secondary carabiner and a rope here so that you don't have to climb all the way up back on your pulley system. Um, to readjust it, you can just simply pull the rope back and continue pulling. So these are just a couple of examples, but again, these are here to actually increase the mechanical advantage so that you have a, an easier time tensioning your sock line.